Well, you are now standing on the Hopi land, and I can only tell you what I learned from my elders who met in Shungo for the Second Mesa in 1948 and told many things that I felt what they say are very important not only for Hopi, not only Native people in this land, Western Hemisphere, but all our nations that they knew would be coming here from around the outside of the world. And they talk about many things, and I felt that uh, the message was so important that I uh, voluntarily to carry this message. This area, the Hopi, were led into by ancient people. They have four sacred mountains in this four corners area, drawn by shrines built on them long time ago, and this is just a spiritual center or heart of Mother Earth. So they said, we must leave this in natural state, because if we rip up this earth from all around the world, people for money and job and good time and just rip it up. But if we leave up in this four corners area, a natural state that the Great Spirit made, just leave it that way and hold it by prayer, fast, ritual, ceremony, every month to keep this land life in balance for not only here but around the world. And we went on four directions to hold this in balance through a ceremony. That's why they take different societies to take care of that. They sing, pray, fast, meditate. And that's how we keep this nature in balance. And that's what we, the Hopi is trying to hold on to now and other native people to, to perform their ceremony so that this world will continue on. You can have all inventions, but you can't stop rain. When they're really coming down, or earthquake, or tornadoes, hurricane, when it comes, you, that, that invention of white man can't stop it. It's got to come from the heart of a spiritual people who knows what to sing and how to perform a ceremony and other things, and that, that would keep this in balance. Why did they leave writings on the cliffs? Well, how I do that, uh, the white man gives things up in the moon. They said, I'm, I'm, I'm first here. The same thing, I'm first here. If I ask white man, are you here first? The said claim that he was here first. Do you know, can you explain that? Is that your symbol? See, we were here long, long, long time ago before any white people came. Kuchiba over the bank. Of course, was I am only here to bring my message from the elders to Bring people and other people and living things on this earth who are here and I know that our spirit people are here, the plant, water, and all the birds, animal things that were here. And I'm sure that there are other sacred sites here which our ancestors left long time ago. And I'm glad to see this water is still here, and I hope it will continue to give water to ever living things on this earth. And I'm glad I made it up here. It's kind of hard to get out there, but I made it. These things are protected by Hopi a long time ago. So that's why I felt I need to bring this message. So it's the Second World War. The Native people were not supposed to go in the army, Hopi and, and Native people. The government knows that, but they forced a lot of our people to go in the army and send them off to foreign country. 
and disturb their inner life. We're not supposed to do that. We're not to throw bomb over there. And so Second World War, I didn't go there. I just refused to register for army or anything. So FBI called me and told me that uh, they would help me out if I agreed to go to army. And I said, no, I decided on this thing because my spirituality, my hope and it's come from my heart and I'm going to stand on it. And I'm not going to go to other foreign countries. It's not our war, it's your war. You the one white man created, you should go over there. But not native people, because our native people's special mission is to take care of the Western Hemisphere through prayer, ceremony, ritual, and leaving in this area, take care of animal, birds, and plant life, and grass, and trees. And that's what we, I'm going to do. And I want to stay with my Hopis. I want to be Hopi because Hopi means peace, full person, kind, gentle, truthful, humble person. And I want to help keep this land alive in that way. FBI and U.S. Marshal got hold of me and threw me in jail. I spent almost seven years in prison trying to be good Hopi. Defenders came and bring the cross and invent wagons, they would invent cars, they went to airplanes, and that's when they throw what they call goat full of ashes. Because White Brother invented many things and he took some of the mineral resources and he referred to this as a goat rattle we use in our ceremony. Goat rattle represents this Mother Earth as a powerful being, but he called it goat full of ashes. White Brother invent so small, so hot, so powerful that if you ever allow that to fall on the earth, you'll just burn everything to ashes. So if we throw bomb around Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Vietnam, Korea, uh, places like Bursting Gulf where the big money people got together the government and threw many powerful things over there, kill thousands of people, homeless, destroy many living things, animal birds and plant life. So that is what they said was going to happen. But they said, if we go out on the other country and disturb their land and life and do this kind of thing, eventually those people are going to rise up and go and create most powerful bomb and throw it back here. In fact, they might come over here and really punish those who continue to make those things and throw it around the world. But somebody came in without permission from the elders, religious leaders, and took that uranium out and attached it in New Mexico and threw it on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That is why they, those met in Sonopave, four days, and they want to let the world know that we are getting into more tender spirit now. When they have a ceremony, they offer this prayer to these sacred mountains, four mountains, from spiritual we send it to the ages of life in the ever. That's how we keep this land in balance. White people don't understand this kind of thing. They only end up for money and job and a good time. They don't care about land. They want to sell and buy and destroy everything. That's what the old people say he's going to do. He's going to sweet tongue and he's going to take everything from you, going to even make you believe a lie when he tells you right in front of you. He knows how to give you one thing and take something away from you quickly. This kind of thing, they explained that that's exactly what's going on right now. And so they told us when they do that, someplace they're going to start suffer terrible things like earthquake, flooding, tornadoes, uh, upheaval, land, and uh, tidal wave. Because we have not correct changed, stop wrong things. And so that's why we want to unite nations 
to give them a chance, to give all the foreign government a chance to do something with their laws or organizations. And it's up to people now. In the first, second world, people didn't do nothing to the le uh, leaders. So it's up to the people in the fourth world because we are the children of these mothers. We are the ones who uh, are supposed to uh, correct changes from these uh, leaders. Because you are voters, taxpayers, they are your servants. You are the government. You are the power. You're supposed to do something, but if you don't, the nature's going to really take over. There's no way you can save many people. This is where we are right now. We either bring about Third World War, Fourth World War, or destroy ourselves, or disturb nature so much, nature is going to act so, so strongly, well, there's no way to survive. But if we find this to be true, then we correct, change the stuff this wrongdoing, and make this life beautiful, clean again. When he sing and dance, gentle rain will come and be a lot of grass, flowers, animal, birds, be so happy. And maybe they leave a lot of good people who will purify this land rivers, ocean, lake, and make life beautiful, clean again, and join with the native people who sing, pray, fast, meditate, so that this world come back again. <laughs>